Hello! Hi! Welcome to the vlog. Michelle here, again. Because I'm never sure if I'm supposed to do a proper introduction or not. I'm just, you know, saying hello is usually enough, isn't it? You know, hi, how are you? You're looking well? Yes, I'm still in my pyjamas. I'm working tomorrow. Um, today's a bank holiday, because we, we do that in England. We have bank holidays. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's it's alright. Um, I've had a good day. As you can tell, the, um, the cold is more or less completely gone. I mean, I'm still a bit very much up here. But uh, nothing's falling out without, you know, and um, as long as I wrap up warm tomorrow, I should be fine. I'm a little bit dopey because well, it's uh, half eight. I'm still debating what I'm not to have for dinner. I've got some pasta I've cooked, but I don't really fancy it. There's some stuff in the microwave, but uh, I've, been, I've had almost an entire chocolate egg. Um, and not a small one either, it's uh, that big. Uh, that big, because um, I didn't have my egg yesterday. So um, yeah, it's um, it's nice. It's Thornton's, but uh, it's a bit richer than I normally have. Normally I just sort of stick with um, um, yeah, <sighs> dairy milk. I was gonna say dairy leave, but that's cheese. I like dairy actually. I've not even for a while. But yeah, it's just dairy milk, isn't it? Uh, Capri's. That's the company. Um, but yeah, otherwise, not too bad. Just, I don't know. I'm not feeling hungry at the moment. I might just have some toast later. Something, something to help me settle. This, this, there are food options. I won't go hungry. It's just I'm not fancy with it. But no. Um, also a bit dopey because um, I was up late last night. Well, very late. I actually, I took a nap for a couple of hours to prepare myself. But then I was doing my RPG with... Um, Aaron and some friends of his, which is really cool. Um, I did my um, OC, which I hadn't coloured in by the time I, I last spoke to you. I'm, I'm really pleased with it actually. It's the first time I've done um, an MLPOC. Obviously, you'll, it's a, a changeling, um, a reform changeling, obviously. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually shiny crayons. And her name is Astrocyte. So, yeah. Um, uh, that's my reform change in the OC after site. And she has good stats. And it turns out that, um, in this, in this game, changelings, seriously OP. Uh, we can fly, we've got telekinesis, and we've got morphing abilities just as basics. <laughs> and that's before you add on your sort of stout heart to give extra body roll and, um, the fact you can learn other abilities if you turn into people. So it's, yeah, that's, um, uh, but it's it's good. We're, I've, the first game was fun, but because of playing with Americans, um, the time difference was not on my side, and I was up till five in the morning, and I had to get up and do all the washing up and tidy and everything before um, before my partner came home because he'd been away for the weekend, which is fine. Um, that's what he does, and I don't mind. So yeah, um, that's why I'm, if I'm dopier than normal, you probably won't notice. But that's why. Uh, so anyway, we have the book. We have the book with the questions, uh, which I always put the wrong way around. That's yeah. Um, so should we see what today's question is? What's the nicest thing you've ever done for a family member? Um, probably lots of things. I mean, it depends who you ask. Like you know, parents or. Um, sister, cousins. I mean, I used to babysit um, for my uncle, but that, I got paid for that. Oh, it was still nice. I still enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I babysat my nephews as well at various points. Well, mostly the older one, the younger one, because um, oh, the older one's there, and because the younger one's like has different needs. Um, I don't know, I just haven't spent as much time alone with the younger one as I have with the older one. Simply because for a little while he didn't actually, not that he didn't like me, but he, um, he was a bit, you know, you know how some babies are a bit sensitive to people they don't see all the time? And because I don't see him all the time, he wasn't always. But no, it is, it is cool, we get on great now. Um, he's a lot more interactive now anyway, so. You know, when they're just blobs and they don't really sort of want to talk to you, he's like, okay, fine. Let's go talk to your brother. 
Um, so another that counts as a nice thing. I don't, that's a weird question. I don't think a weird question. And like I said, it's, you know, aimed at younger kids, so trying to get them to think about nice things is not a bad thing. Um, I, I like, like I said, I like drawing. I'm pretty sure I've created things for my family before now. Um, you know, I, I help out as and when I can. I mean, that's nice. Maybe that's just me being helpful. Um, trying to go through the family members. Oh, me and my sister made cookies one time. That was fun. Maybe that's just me helping. Um, the nicest, helpful, nicest thing I've done for a family member. I was born. Um, which is good. I was um, apparently the first girl on either side for, I don't know, a generation or two? I, apparently there was a big thing, oh, it's a girl, yay. And I've said before, on my dad's side, I'm the oldest cousin as well. So that's, you know, I don't necessarily see it as a responsibility necessarily, but it's fun. Um, I gave Steph, Stephanie a shout out for her channel, I guess that was nice. Uh, I don't know what it's done for her numbers, and she hasn't posted for a little while, so... But, uh, I guess you count that nice. Probably the nicest. It was just a, you know, gesture. Um... <coughs> uh, being born. I don't know. I mean... I guess it's one of those things that I don't tend to think about it, because it's family. Um, and you just... You just do nice things for your family. You just hang out with your family, you, you spend time with them, you you talk to them, you you, you know, play with the boys, you you know, you, you have dinner with your sister and your parents and uh, and whether it's nice or not, I mean it's it's just nice doing it. Never mind being the nicest thing, it's just a nice thing to be doing. Um I don't know. Uh I am um, when I was working at the store uh, I obviously used to you know doing the buy-ins we used to see um, lots of other stuff so I have just because I knew she like and usually it's for mum although I did get one thing for Crin once as well um, but if I if I saw something that I knew that A, they liked, and B, they may not have gotten for themselves because it might be a bit obscure or hard to get hold of now. Um, I did get my mum the original um, soundtrack for Starlight Express, the one that um, features Stephanie Lawrence, the late Stephanie Lawrence, who was, who was a friend of ours. Um, she really appreciated that. Uh, my sister, I got a copy of The Worst Witch, which we watched at school. Oh no, we were not... Oh. I think we watched it at school, we watched it when we were younger. And I hadn't, <clears throat> because it, even though it was second hand and it was like already unsealed, I didn't actually watch it myself beforehand and I don't know, I think she's still got a copy, I haven't actually, I, had, I haven't seen it myself yet for ages, so I'm, I, hope, I hope she enjoyed it. <coughs> so stuff like that, I mean, um, with dad and my brother-in-law, my nephew, I mean, my nephews, you know, because they've got, they're both into gaming in their own, obviously. The older plays different games than the younger one. I mean, I, I don't think the younger one should be playing Bioshock just yet. Although the older one was playing Bioshock probably before he should be. But, you know, stuff like that. He, he will play the one type of games, whereas the younger one... Um, it's quite funny, just on a slight tangent. The younger one is the only one in the family, um, like, out of his parents and brother, that doesn't like Harry Potter. And they've said, you know, you're outnumbered, right? I said, yeah, it's fine. So, um, there's that. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, I used to buy mum... I well, not buy... Um, when I used to walk home um, in the park when it was nice weather, I used to collect a posy for mum on my way home. I guess that was nice. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't think it has to be anything grand. I think just as long as you're doing something that people like or you know it's going to make them happy, that is inherently nice. Um, so, I don't want to say that I have a nicest, because that means I'm putting one, you know, thing, random thing, random gesture, above all the others, 
And I don't think that's necessarily the right way to do it. I just think, hey, you'll like this. I know this is a thing you like, so I'm going to do it or buy it or you know, get it for you because it, I know it will make you smile. So, uh, yeah, yeah, just be nice to your family. Be nice to each other. Definitely, but especially be nice to your family unless, unless there are circumstances where being nice to them, you know, maybe they don't deserve it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know your stories. Um, but yeah, feel free to share, share any niceness. Um, doesn't have to be family, but you know. Um, you know, whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you want to share. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Where's my, um, there we go. But anyway, uh, you can follow me here. I think it'd be nice if I got a new bit of paper. But yeah, here I am on Twitter, Tumblr if you want. Yeah. Um, I, ha I I know I keep advertising the Tumblr. It's I don't tend to use it very often. I certainly don't post very often. Um, but you know, if you're curious, it's there. Um, but yes. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so thank you always for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, but anyway, I've been Michelle. You've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.